Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapon. Hello, and welcome. I'm your Game Master, Eric Benson, and this is Black Remnant. Let me introduce the mercenary captain of the spheres that everyone loves, Mr. Stavron Otho, played by Jerford K. Horcrims. Now, technically, it's commander, not captain. That's... That's the only thing I just want to mention. Uh, I'm not going to mention it again. We'll see after this. I might mention it a couple times. And the one that has to clean up all of his messes, <laughs> Roshan Cole, played by Kiko Villa Senor. Yay! It's my friend Kiko. <laughs> all right, now, I should say that this is Kiko's very first, his maiden voyage on a performance stage. So whenever he does something that's even a little bit cool, obviously the reaction has to be enhanced. <laughs> I'm just, let's elevate it. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Here, was that worse or better? Oh, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at this. It's like we have um, booster seats. I know, we got foot, foot rest a, and, oh, and, and, a, and a rest for the feet? This is incredible. It's just me, I'm sure. No, no, listen. All right, so, I mean, I feel like it's incumbent upon us. I mean, I understand that there are other role-playing games out there. There are other war games out there. But Black Remnant does something really, really interesting with existing systems from Catalyst. And so people often ask us if it is something that we've homebrewed. But these systems, like a cool role-playing game that takes the best out of, you know, indie and established games, plus a streamlined version of the big Battletech war game mesh together on purpose to make a game where you role play out the careers of your mercenary pilots yeah. and then roll dice at each other um, and then tell another different kind of story with the war game models. It's, just, it's, it's very, very cool, but things work a little bit differently maybe in this game than they might in other games. For example, you might have seen games where a person leers at you from behind a screen for several hours and tries to make your life difficult. I'm not gonna name the game. <laughs> um, in this game, obviously, you know, our game master, Eric Benson, is going to, he's established the rules of the universe, the relationships, but we can do things in uh, the destiny side of this game. Indeed, you have produced the, the coin right here. Any one of us can take the reins and add scenes, add characters. Um, in fact, we also have these chips. Oh, you're just taking the chips now. They're my chips. And, and, I, and what we can do with these chips is add things to the game. We can make things happen, create new scenes, but every time we spend one, we're also giving one to Eric, which, as we have learned in the past, is incredibly bad news. Um, so I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll, I'll do it if I feel like it's the right play. <laughs> but often the, the fact of the matter is, is that it's just a game that you can make as interesting as you want. Mm -hmm. I can throw these in to make my life harder. And I have, you have and it. I will. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do this. All right. All right, so do you want to give a little bit of a recap of where you, where you left off? Well, here, let me, let me, let me, let's go into the dramatis personae, basically, mm -hmm. right? Um, we're talking Battletech, so we're talking hard science fiction. Mm -hmm. We're talking uh, big politics, major established players that have morphed and shifted over time. Um, but our tiny part of the inner sphere is a new mercenary company called Black Remnant, which is a very, very small part of the mercenary company that my father ran. And I have been given a tiny part of it by my uncle and I have spent the last year running it absolutely into the ground. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my character is Stavron Otho. Uh, his father uh, ran the Otho's 88. The Black Remnant is sort of a splinter group off of that. Um, I tend to take in strange orphans. Uh, one of our NPC characters is Kenji, a type of Ronin mech warrior. Um, but my young ward, Roshan Cole, uh, heir to a, a massive fortune, that I only occasionally tap into for millions of credits at <laughs> yes. a time, um, is something of a mech warrior savant. Yeah. Once the neuro helmet comes down, um, he is transformed into a cold-blooded killer. 
and the rest of the time he's very shy. And that's fine. So Rashawn Cole is essentially um, an anime exile. <laughs> He's, he's playing his own shonen game <laughs> yes. over there, but you'll find that that meshes quite naturally as well. And then Eric tends to take over for all other NPCs, plus um, our retired mech warrior pilot Burnout um, and his mechanic daughter Zig Zag. Mm -hmm. um, also, it may be that the Roombas and cleaning robots on the ship have developed a lethal form of sentience. Um, I'll give you updates on that as it seems appropriate. Mm -hmm. We're a little nervous about it. Yeah, and you should be. Yeah. <laughs> they got very sharp little Lethal tendrils. and cultish. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Not All a great right. combo. No, no, no. But right. So what do you think? Over the story uh, uh, so far, you have been receiving data transmissions from Etta Troon. Yes, a, a political operative mm -hmm. uh, out there in space. Yeah, and she has leaked information that uh, is bringing you to the planet Goshen for an op operation. Exactly. And you were a, just uh, breaking Atmo from old Kentucky? That's exactly right. Where it's like, we had, technically we were supposed to go to this other place, but then I found out about uh, a league, a mech warrior league, yep. and I thought it would be an incredible way to make a lot of money, and it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up losing a lot. And that's where you met Fergus Mack? Exactly. And you started a tab uh, business? Yes. I'm always trying to start MLMs on every planet that I go to. Mm -hmm. And occasionally it functions. <laughs> but you received a transmission from Etta saying, get off the, stop playing around yeah, yeah. and get off the planet. Yeah, and, I, and that was reasonable. I decided to do that. But the, the main thing about Etta is that via these transmissions, we've learned that there is actually a massing of resources for a very significant incursion, yes. a, a very lopsided encounter is going to occur if somebody doesn't yes. step in. You there found out that the Draconis Combine are going to be invading fe uh, Federated Sun territory. That's right. Just huge political repercussions for the Inner Sphere. No, absolutely. <laughs> and the, we, there's a scenario where we are able to help them do this, and there's a scenario where we just get ground into a paste between these two galactic powers. So the question is, is from time to time, we do both Things. Well, no. Now, it is true that occasionally we do take both sides of a job, but thus far we've succeeded at this. <laughs> this might not be uh, the time to do it. No, I, I, right now I'm feeling the gears. Yeah, so as you uh, left Old Kentucky, I threw a chip in. Yes. At the closing of the last yeah, game. Yeah, and then, did, and then did you not reveal what it was? No. And, okay, so I, I feel like I haven't been able to breathe since then, and now I would like to breathe, so, so tell me what bad thing you're going to do to us. This is, I feel like this is when, like my mom would tell me to get the whip and switch. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Pretty you, close. you throw it in and I'm like, well, okay, I guess I'll just get spanked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, oh, it's not God. gonna happen. You beast. So, um, but also remember that Etta was the one that sent you the Holovid uh, video of Caleb Brightmore talking about to a mysterious figure on the screen no, no. Uh, about the death of your father. Well, and, I can, and I can go into that a little bit for uh, viewers new and old. Obviously, we have, there, are, there are those in the theater here with us, but there are those, those, those at home with their neural helmets um, applied uh, watching on the Twitch stream as mm -hmm. well. So let, let me give everybody the information. Um, as a reward for a previous job, I discovered that it's entirely possible that it was my uncle's maneuvering that resulted in the death of my father and essentially the stripping of my birthright. Mm -hmm. So this is something that maybe we'll get into today. Yeah, maybe, or maybe not. Or maybe not. I'll, maybe I'll throw it, you chip. know what? Let's do it right now. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I'm not spending my chip that way. <laughs> I can't give you that. Damn. All right. Yeah. So it's been two weeks on the Calypso since you left old Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, you are waking up in your uh, bunks and on the hollow vid, you see a flashing uh, red light. Oh, it's like that's, that's like how I wake up? Yeah. This is the alarm? It, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the communications from Etta. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to basically reach over from my bed to the console <laughs> and slap fitfully around. Hit snooze. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I feel like if the light's red, I should go ahead and read it. Yeah. And it, it's coded again. Now. All right, well, I'm just gonna get a hard copy of it. Okay. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change. This is, this is uh, Pajama Stavrin. 
This is the pajama episode. Um, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in the cockpit with these fucking pajamas. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna grab my hardcore printout and I'm gonna head down uh, the double stair from the cockpit and the the rooms down into the hold of the Calypso. So as you walk out of uh, or walk into the bay, you're on the mezzanine, and it's eerily quiet and pitch dark. And you see Burnout just standing next to you on the mezzanine, smoking his cigar, looking down like, into the... Just looking, looking spooked? Yeah. I say, are the lights off because they don't work? Uh, or because you, just, you want to brood and you feel like this is going to be a good energy for you? No, no, you need to take a look at what's going on down there. I've seen <laughs> the flames and fires of war. This scares me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna, uh, this is gonna be like an Ebenezer Scrooge thing, like, out at night. I'm gonna creep down the stairs with my, with my, I'm gonna roll the printout up as a, as a improvised weapon. Yeah. First gonna be visited by yeah. three <laughs> robot ghosts. You're gonna be visited by three multi-story <laughs> robot warriors. Um, so I'm gonna come down, uh, I'm gonna come down and just sort of like walk in the middle workspace between um, each of our mech bays. And, and the Calypso has six. Yeah. J just, just to help you picture it, um, I'm just walking in the valley of the shadow of mechs, yeah. essentially. <laughs> you shall feel, feel no danger. Oh, no, I can't. I hope not. You see in the far corner by the Atlas bar, it what looks like it must be 50 or 60 candles lit up. Lit up. And candles. you don't even know where candles came from on this ship. I, s I already told them this was hard sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're doing, like, witch shit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, I, my, my feeling is that that's not what I want, especially not right now. It's bad, it's bad luck. Right. Where's the fire suppression system? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm looking at me. There's something else that's fucked up with this shit. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go to the candles. And as you, as you make your way over, you see Oberon. Okay, so Oberon is essentially the... <sighs> okay, so... It may be that the Roombas developed a little bit more than regular sentience. It may, in fact, be that they created a god and then began to worship it. I, I buried the lead earlier. Um, but, but yes, okay, so they have, so they are, are these candles around it like a glowing crown? No, no, the candles are spread all around the <sighs> room like a shrine. Oh, God. And you see Oberon in the middle with his turret face. <laughs> But you know, you see now that the other bots have given him two armatures, and he has vestments on. What the? Robot clothes? Yeah. I, I look down, because I mean, it's obviously, because there's one of these that I go to, the one that has the, the, the yeah. dot yeah. matrix type Yeah, printer. the little printer? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's the one that I need to talk to. I think that this, I think this is a problem for future staff. <laughs> but you see all of the bots around Oberon. And they're all just kind of l lying on the ground, except for the, the, the printer bot, who's right in front of you. And he's constantly printing out these sheets. <laughs> and Oberon is putting them on the wall. Oh, God. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get, I'm just going to reach down and try to pick up one of the candles. Does it, am I liquefied? No, you're fine. Is this an Ed 209 situation, right? I grab the candle and I'm just gonna lift it up and I'm gonna look at this, uh, this, um, this art that they're making. We should, we should, before we go further, we should let people know who this, if this is their first Black Remnant. Oberon yeah. is essentially a sentient cannon. Yes, Oberon is a gun that's also a person. Yes, yeah. um, okay. <laughs> uh, once you, Now that you know that, yes. you're, ready to, you're ready to engage with the content. Yeah. <laughs> so you see three different printouts that are repeated. Really? Okay. And it each starts with a different image of one of the little bots. Oh, no. And next to the image, you see one that says XR-808-JED. dash dash The next one is FT-666-Brent. These are their names? The next one is VB-201-Francine. <laughs> okay, so, okay. And they're getting put on the wall underneath a bed of candles. Okay, so now this, this they're engaging in some kind of a naming ritual. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at these and I'm gonna turn around to the group and I'm gonna say, Brent? Is Brent here? 
And then you, you, you see Oberon just kind of bow, bow his cannon head. I don't know what these guys are doing. <laughs> I, I say, look, I, I appreciate everything that you've done for me, obviously. But this, the hold is really not a, it's not a church in the classic sense. This is, you guys are doing weird stuff and we need the lights back on. Because um, we have to like do war. So if there's any way that we can have the lights and you guys can stop worshiping each other. Uh, the printer bot comes up to you. Yeah, and I don't, not you. Everybody else can leave. I got work for you. And he prints out a, a note. And he says they're missing. What, is my, is it my, am I supposed to be watching where all the bots are? Beep, 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 beep. They were taken. Taken by who? This is, this is like a Lassie type conversation. I, I assume they fell into a well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I try to say, these are, I say, these are your, you have, you, you, there's missing cleaning robots. There's missing, missing members of your whatever this is. Beep, 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 beep. We miss them. Oh, well, I mean, listen, I can understand why you would miss them. I mean, obviously, these are your friends. I'm saying, we're on a ship in space, so I'm having a hard time imagining where they could have gone. Beep, 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 beep. Old Kentucky. Now, I said, well, we're going to, I can't go back and get them right now. Beep, 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 beep. I said, I'm just going to kneel down and read it as it's coming out now. Fergus Mac. Really? Really? Fergus Mack? Fuck this guy. How was your trip? <laughs> he stole three, oh no. Okay, it's one, it's one, and before I was like, now I'm inconvenienced, there's gonna be parts of the deck that aren't scrubbed. <laughs> but now I see that the issue is in fact that they are actually deeply experimental, uh, auto-replicating, self-writing, artificially intelligent robots and he's stolen three of them. And the only thing we know about them is that they occasionally create gun gods, um, which have come into the story in the past. That is a bunch of shit. And this is, this is what I tell him. I say, that makes me so mad. In fact, it, it makes me so mad that I want you to uh, decipher this code <laughs> that I brought from the other thing. I, this is not connected to this, but this is how mad I am. I, I need you to look at this, and that's the only thing that's gonna calm me down. And he, beep, 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 beep. So, and it's the navigation to the outpost on Goshen that uh, Edda Troon wants you to meet her at. Oh, wants, oh, wants us to. So this is, a, this is the first direct meeting we've ever had with this political contact. Right, but there's also a second part of the note that says, bring burnout and ZZ. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the rest of that paper off. Uh, just so that, because I think it'll be better. It's like if I tell them they don't want to, and they, if I tell them that what I need them to do and they don't want to do it, that's one thing. But if a person whose face is also a Gatling cannon tells them, I feel like that's very motivational. <laughs> I feel like that kind of elevates Nobody's the situation. Me. You know what I mean? And so we should, do, we should do exactly that. I'm just saying, listen, it's not me saying it. The, broom, the Roomba says you have to go. And we'll see if that works as a, as a rhetorical strategy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take my... Uh, I'm going to take my printouts. I mean, I've got several now. They're just poking out of the JAMA at this point. Um, I'm going to head back up the stairs. It's like, is there a way for me to turn the lights? Can I get the lights on now? <laughs> Are they done with their ship? Yeah, they'll, they will uh, leave their congregation and thank move. You. <laughs> I, I, up on from the mezzanine, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I, pre I appreciate it. Oh, is it my ship? Wow. I love how this works. Uh, and then I'm going to walk back up through the rooms. I'm gonna knock on ZZ's room, um, and then I'm gonna head up to the cockpit okay. uh, with my printouts, and then I'll just call for ZZ when I hear her uh, door open, uh, just to come up to the, the helm. Okay. Roshan emerges from his quarters, and uh, uh, as he typically does, heads down to the bay, um, uh, takes a look at, uh, what's ahead of him for the day, like obviously Samira, which is his battle mech, uh, his timber wolf, uh, took a bit of a beating yeah. in old Kentucky. Um, yeah, that last game was rough. Something that is atypical for him, so it's still very much top of mind. 
Um, and uh, as he uh, gets prepared for the, uh, the, the day's out. work, yeah. um, he doesn't really know why we left. Um, <laughs> because we left, because I mean, technically speaking, <laughs> We were ready to we were ready to to do another round, and that was going to be the round that made all of our money back. Yes. Um, also, the round that uh, that Roshan could have uh, made up for his mistakes in the previous. Oh, oh, okay. So he's so he is in a very complicated, perhaps tender mental state. Yes. Um, there was a lot um, like he requested Ball to fly all the way out. Yes, yes. A, a, a contact Kentucky. that we had made at a previous yes. game. Essentially, the champion of that league right. that you became friends on the field of battle. Um, and uh, uh, utilized his favor that Ball gave him Yeah. Uh, for a single match in which Roshan was had to eject from was, his battle. Yeah, it was essentially pulped <laughs> live on camera. So uh, there's... Uh, it's rough for yeah. Roshan right now. Um, so he sort of trudgingly, trudgingly uh, gets to work on repairs um, uh, on Samira. Yeah. Do you have um, any skills that'll help with that? Um, I have um, nothing on my character sheet. Okay, but so. being around ZZ for so long mm -hmm. um, and, and See, spending this is, this tons is your, of time. This is your first it. public performance and you're already trying to <laughs> finesse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 am, not, I am so proud. Listen, I, I, uh, I learned, you learned, you learned, I learned by watching, watching you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it appears like, so what's funny is, is as a, as just sort of an, an off thing, sort of like a dump stat. You have to choose like a weird knowledge skill mm -hmm. for for your destiny character. Yeah, and it's the only skill I've used this entire game, and it's knowledge legendary mech warriors. <laughs> so, so Rashan is an otaku yeah, yeah, exactly. of mech warriors. This has been his, super his, helpful. So if we, so I don't know if that helps yeah, with no, repairing. But, but, mechs. but, but honestly, <laughs> but here's the dumb thing. Thus far, that skill has turned out real results no, for us. No, really, really, really but, helpful. But he's the savant on yeah. and off the field. Mm -hmm. But also, this is why we have a, a mechanic NPC to help with Right. Um, so so, I, so I, since I, you've spent time with ZZ, yes. and you have, you have studied mechs your entire life, mm -hmm. I'll give you the choice. You can either use your int doubled or that skill. Uh -huh. Which one do you want to use? So, and you're going to get a third die. Okay, so really? I would probably use my int doubled, even though it's not great. Okay, um, so I can get a three dice, Where and it's we, a you four. Can throw right in this tray if you want. Okay. So how were yours? Tico? I have an eleven on mine. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you have there. <laughs> You have learned nothing from ZZ. Yeah, okay, I've learned nothing from ZZ. So that's why typically uh, I just get the paint bucket. Yeah, yeah. That's why you get yeah. the paint bucket and mm -hmm. the and the uh, hose. It, and it's it, it's it's uh, super funny because they actually had me uh, work on the the, the it was it's not a warp drive in BattleTech. It's uh, yeah, the jump, the jump, the jump, the jump drive. Yeah. yeah. So you know. Good on you guys for letting Roshan tinker with that. <laughs> That's why you might have crashed on a planet. Yeah, yeah. But, but the, the best part about this is, um, is that so it, it's like a cargo cult thing. I think that you just go over there with all the things that ZZ has. Yeah. And you just sort of think mechs get repaired when these things are by them. It's like, hey, we, got the, we got this torch. We got these plates. Like, we're done. I'm just going to set these over here. It's going to happen organically. So Roshan starts to uh, try his best. And try he will. <laughs> <laughs> try he shall. Uh, so ZZ makes it up to the bridge as well, and Burnout's there just relaxing um, in well, his chair. I'm going to put a stop to that. Uh, I'm going to head up there. This, he can relax on his own time. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm going to head over there with the printout, and I'm like, uh, our contact says that uh, they need you and ZZ in on this in on this meeting with them. What? It yeah, makes it, no sense. Oh, I absolutely agree with you. Who is this? This is, this is my friend online. 
This is it. Wait, what do you mean online? I mean, this, this is just, this is a person that, uh, honestly, I've never met them. Okay. And everything that they tell me is super weird. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be talking to this person at all. You're talking to a random stranger online and... Well, not a uh, random, not a random stranger. They told me that they were cool. I don't know if that helps at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you guys got to go, so. And I didn't say it, it was the robots. They're weird. Don't fuck with these guys. They're crazy. So you're going to bring my daughter downside again? Well, you're going to bring your daughter. And I'm going to bring you. It's a matryoshka sort of situation. The moral culpability, I think, lies with each of us at this point. I don't think that's how this works. Well, it's, it, it's how it has to work this time. Does the name Etta Truon mean anything to you? No. Well, it's going to, because you're going to come meet her. That's what the robot said. So this random person that you have never had contact with... No, I've, I've had contact with... ...is asking about myself and my daughter? This is my cool contact online. I already told you this. We... They know stuff, and they have told me stuff. This is a, like a political contact. I, this could be like a big... This could be like a big wheel, like a big mover. This could be a great opportunity for us. Wait, you've been taking... Have you been taking missions from this? Absolutely not. And that's, and it's wrong and rude for you to even make this. In fact, I'm so angry that I think I might leave this room. And, but you'll still have to do the stuff I said, because I'm the commander. So, is this, is it, I look over at ZZ, I'm like, is this working at all? Is this? Oh, I'm in. Do you? <laughs> okay, see, yeah. and see, now it's two against one, old man. So we got to, we got to strap up. What? <laughs> I, I, I don't think I could explain it any clearer. I met a woman online. <laughs> and she said, come to this planet? <laughs> I think I got a chance. <laughs> Stavron can get it. I, I, I get my back up against like the, the, the plate glass of the front, like the star field behind me. I'm like, you're like you one foot kneeling against the side yeah, of the wall. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you don't understand. This is, I'm the commander, but I'm also the commander. She's also super into cryptography. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's got a lot of these, um, she's got a lot of these NFTs <laughs> and she says I can have one. So, you know, sounds valuable. Maybe I could get you guys one or part of one, or maybe I'll just let you look at mine. You know what I mean? There needs to be attitude adjustments in here. Commander out. And I'm just going to, I'll trudge out and I'll just stride out in a, a way that has, that, you know, beams, exudes a confidence that I do not have. Um, I do not have. In fact, I think I would like to use my acting skill. Okay. <laughs> just to really flex on them. Uh, so between the uh, rating and the attribute, we're talking about a plus three. Here comes two big and dice. The What's that? And the and the pajamas, which, oh God, that makes that scene even dumber than I thought. <laughs> that scene is even more stupid than it was originally. All right. That makes it a million times worse. All right, 2D6 plus three. Hey. No, not a chance. Ow. Well, I feel very confident. And as the doors close, you just hear, Nice jammies, Captain. No, no, and I say they are nice jammies, but the door closes on the leg of the jammy, <laughs> and I fall flat. And they can't see it, but they can hear it, and they can see the little tongue of the of the of the felt on the inside. I just crawl away. Oh God! Scramble up to my feet, grit to my full height, um, and uh, continue back to my room. I'm going to see if there's any more information from Edda back there. No, nothing on nothing on the screen. Yeah, I'm hoping to get a picture next time. <laughs> Those armpit pics, you know what I'm talking about. And a couple days go by, you're still um, on your way to Goshen. Yeah, it's getting close. Yeah, and you make your way in down to the mech bay, and you realize that no work has been done on these mechs. Not a single thing. What? They're all damaged from your last fight. Yeah, I know perfectly well that they're damaged. I have a crew for this. You see Roshan there, but he's not really doing much. <laughs> Roshan thinks that he can paint over, over a, like an incursion into the literal hull. 
He's applying paint to Myomer bundles inside the mech as the, like a magic spell. Like this is going to resolve it. Um, I don't like that. I mean, that's bad. But also like crestfallen while he does it. Oh yeah, he's just sad. He's painting inside <laughs> out. He's got paint on him. Just, uh, um, I say, Rashawn, where's Zizi? Like what's, why is, I, mean, I love you, kid. I, you know, I love this. But where's Zizi? Where's the, where's the, the wrenchy, twisty girl that we love so well? I haven't seen her, Commander. And all you just, you, you hear, yeah, I got another! Coming out God. of the simulator. Hey, okay, so, brief aside. <laughs> when we were on Old Kentucky, she did purchase, unauthorized, for the price of 15,000 C-bills, a simulator program called the Gauntlet 7.0. And she has been playing nothing but this ever since we got it. And I think that that's why there's still giant holes in these robots. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna reach over, neural helmet. But as you look in, you see her with one of her father's cigars in her mouth playing the well, simulator. She's just chewing? Yeah, not lit. Well, well, of course not. Yeah. Of course not. Not on this ship. Yeah. But um, um, what? They saw the signs. Where is she in in the uh, simulator? How she, far has she gone? So the Gauntlet 7.0 has seven distinct waves of machines that come in, and part of the reason that Rashawn Cole does not like the Gauntlet is because he likes to use the simulator. Uh, he likes to use the simulator to learn how to become a better mech warrior, which is, I mean, that's one approach. That's, you can use it to practice your skills <laughs> with mechs. Some uh, are playing video games inside the simulator, and so she is progressing through these seven increasingly difficult waves, but the waves are coming at you like, the individual mechs are coming at you like bullet hell. They're coming at you in bursts of simulated robots. There are holographic glyphs and fruits when did to be picked up. When does Hangar Bay turn into Animal House? It sucks. It's just chaos. It has to stop. There's these robots. I, I assume the robots haven't cleaned anything now. They're nope, too busy they're worshiping their steel candles. lord. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I, I say, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to get the big trunk cable and I'm gonna unplug it. Now, you should understand that she is at her high score. Yeah. <laughs> she is five waves in. This is, this is a dad move, and it's, it's, it's rude and bad, but she's not doing her homework. You know what I mean? No. And not this. as you try to pull it, she said, you hear a cackle. Ha <laughs> ha, nice try. And the, the, she has locked. Oh, it's bolted locks? Bolted it in. <laughs> Do you, think I don't, do you think I don't know about torches? Do you think I can't turn one on? Yeah, try it. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's too much fun. I'm just going to get in and I'm going to start pushing buttons on the... Hey! On the, hey! And she's jabbing nope. you. And she's no, no, jabbing. Something, no, no. Don't screw this up on me! This is hard mode, right? <laughs> Shut up. Hey, what? Yeah, yeah, this is the elite. This is the, this is the, the dark souls yeah, that's, of Mech Warrior. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and I'm going to win. <laughs> I say, you, you understand that... If we, bring the, these, if we bring these mechs out and put them on the field, that they're just gonna fall over into a big pile. We could just push them out of the Calypso as we come down, and it would be the same. Yeah, what's your point? My point is that I need those in order to live and succeed, both as an individual person and as the operator of a business, um, ostensibly a, a mercenary business that theoretically you are a part of. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, and uh, have you ever repaired a mech yourself? I have seen it done. Yeah, great. Do you know how and long I, it takes? I do pay people to do it, or at any rate, I thought I was paying them to do it. Now I understand that they're engaging in esports down in the hole. Don't worry about it, old man. I got it covered. Covered with what? A tarp? Yeah. Well, it's gonna be fine. In what way? Yeah, I'll have it Literal done. Literal holes. Yeah, I'll have it done. Actual Just holes. Two more rounds. I can see the inside stuff. Yeah. Congratulations, why don't you help try fixing it? Right, I'm gonna go over to Rashawn and I'm gonna say, no, you're painting, no, you're painting its internal organs. You need to, no, just, I push him to the side. I'm just gonna give it a shot. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a shot. Like, I am the commander of this ship. I grew up around these things. 
there is no universe in which I don't deliver absolute success. Every time I throw the dice in this tray, it's a banger. I'm delivering ordinance down range. Uh huh. All what right. Are you, what are you going to use to do so? Uh, uh, my, my powerful charisma. No, I don't think that's going to work. You're gonna All right, Mac. To be All right Mac, listen up. I need you to work on something for me here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to become the, uh, the, the self-help motivational coach for giant robots. All right, you know what? You're big, but you know on the inside you're still tender. We already um, have one cult on the ship. Yeah, I guess that's true. We're just going to manufacture these. Honestly, if, if Stavron were a great businessman, he would have already, the cult would be the business. Um, now, um, so I want to go with my int. Okay. All right, so this is So easy. it's your 2d6 yeah. plus your int score. Here it comes. I'm about to kill it. So what's that? That's seven plus two, which is it's so big I can't even count it. <laughs> That's a lot more. So you go over next to Roshan and you take a soldering pike. Yeah, yeah, and I and, say this, and I say this is how it's done. Yeah, and it's, you just with a swipe, you you <laughs> cut off one of the the legs, <laughs> just straight through. The remaining piece <laughs> just falls right off. And but it, it's like. Sus it's like it's suspended, being sus suspended. Yeah, it's being sustain uh, suspended in the air, yeah. and you just managed to slice right through the, exactly. and the I only see, uh, filaments left that were holding together. And I together. say, Rashawn, sometimes you have to hurt to heal, okay? So... And out of the simulator, that, you just hear, I heard that! So that's the, the final straw for Roshan, like, in terms of... Of, of hijinks? No, it, <laughs> like, it's oh, additional damage. To Samira. Yeah. I guess that is. And it is also named, you know, for your mom. So I see now that I thought it, I thought it, was, just, I thought it was just fun with dice. And now I see that I've actually engaged in, in real harm to without a, a friend a word, I Without a word, Roshan puts down the paint bucket, still with brush in hand, turns, uh, walks over the simulator, um, <clears throat> By this time, like he doesn't, he's, he, he doesn't really know what a scar is. It was no. just something that Zizi was chewing on. Yeah. Um, and when you're during your antics, yeah. it came out, and fell yeah. in, you know, into the the cockpit of the simulator. It's just on her lap and, now. And um, this wet log. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Roshan, with a twist of his wrist, disconnects the neural helmet from the simulator. Hey! and says to ZZ, please don't eat in the simulator. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's the problem? That's the problem. <laughs> and then he walks back to, to Samira and picks up the bucket and, and tries to start painting again. <laughs> he, think, he thinks it's like Dolmus or something. It's like, I, it's just, I just, Burnout loves to eat these things. Listen, Go crazy out these are these are sacred spaces well, no, for Roshan. Well, absolutely, and it's it, obviously you don't want crumbs in there. <laughs> you don't like for real. You can't have a moist yolk. It's it's insane. What she's doing is madness. Anyway, so he's going to paint over the giant the giant slit I just, just made in this just, thing. Just sad boy robot painting is what's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> Okay, things have, things have now taken a turn, but with it being disconnected, hopefully yeah, that will inspire you see, her. You see the helmet fly out and hit the side of the bay. And she's like, fine, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> this is, we have a teenager on the ship, and that's the, that's the thing you need to, to keep in mind. Well, you have two teenagers. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but one of them is Roshan, and, that, and thus far that's helped. Roshan was born 70 years old. <laughs> Now, is there anything you want to do before you hit Atmo of yes. Goshen? Yes, I want to deeply coax ZZ to fix these fucking robots. Yeah, she's go <laughs> she goes to work on them. Okay. Yeah, but, 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 but now she fucked up, because now I've got to be here right alongside. And now, I, now I've got the check, i got the, the list. Now I'm like, mm, yeah, mm. it's the worst. It's me as the micro, being micromanaged in a skill I don't have, uh, to a genius, I'm hoping that this is bad enough that she just fixes robots the next time I say. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fantasy, yeah. that's the fantasy play for me. Yeah, and she's just, 
is grinding her teeth every, with every word you say. <laughs> Perfect. Well, here, I'm going to throw a chip in, even though I know that it's a bad idea. And I'm going to go over to the various bots in the congregation, mm -hmm. even now skittering over the deck, they're climbing up on the walls. Yeah, they're back to their normal. Yeah, they're back to their normal stuff. The shrine is still up. Oh, no, they're... absolutely. And I'm going to go over, and it's Brent. What was the first name? Uh, Jed, Brent, oh, and Jed. Francine. Jed. I say, the moment we're done with this, we're going to go back and we're going to get Jed, Brent, and Francine. And then I'm going to bring Fergus Mack into the hold. I'm going to shut the doors and leave the ship. That's my gift to you. What I need you to do is make these battle mechs look like they just rolled off the line. And you see them move with such intense speed. You can it just almost a carpet. Looks like, yeah, it almost looks like scarabs going up and co coating the mechs so you can't see any damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. I see. No, ZZ, this, this, is, this is an employee. <laughs> this is an employee. Uh, they never eat. Some of their faces are guns. <laughs> but it's huge value. I'm saying like they're, these are, they're contributing to this, this project. We'll see about that. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, well. See you later, CZ. <laughs> yeah. Get out. <laughs> I say, oh, actually, there's a little... Right Get away. out! <laughs> okay, all right, fine, it's fine. Um, no, no, I, I, I think that, I think that uh, we have satisfied our, uh, our uh, montage requirement uh, for the, the robot repair scene. Yeah. So uh, you hear over the uh, comms after another uh, several weeks' travel uh, that from burnout, Commander, we're breaking Atmo. Yeah, and I, I say, I want you to put on your best Hawaiian shirt for this meeting, okay? I mean, I, this is, I think I really got a chance with this Edatroon. Unbelievable. The best. I want a lot of palm trees on there. And it's just turned off. And the Calypso lands on Goshen in a, and you, as the bay doors open, you see that it is a rocky planet. Um, very hot in temperature, uh, and the Calypso has landed maybe a quarter of a mile away from the outpost that, that you were directed to. And it looks like an old, worn down um, refuge. And you can see a, clearly a door uh, bay that you could get into. All right, and, and I've, I've gathered my throng, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna lead them through the desert as so many great leaders have before. And as you, as you get up to the outpost, the bay doors slide open and you see a gentleman in uniform. He says... Like a uniform of the Federated Sons? No, you don't actually recognize it. I don't recognize name. the livery at all? No. Okay. And there's no markings on any of the structures? No. This is a Th top secret. But this seems like a great place to get murdered, frankly. That's more or less what it looks yeah, like to me. it's a good thing we're me. all here. Yeah, it's a good thing we're all here together. To trust it. these robots will uh, avenge us, I, I swear. Uh, we've been expecting you. Please follow me into the conference room, and Etta will be with you shortly. Uh, I'd give a weak salute, but it's like I don't know which one he wants. So I'd start. Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Yeah, yeah, it's very hot. Um, <laughs> eventually, eventually, I decide on a salute that's on both sides, and goes out like this, and then I'm like. Something like that. Sir, let's go to the conference okay. room. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. I'm, I, I'm dehydrated, I think. <laughs> we can provide you with water. Marvelous. Just water? What else would you need? You got sodas? Sure. Juice? <laughs> Maybe. Milk? No. All what right. Is, what is this, a Four Seasons? Uh, I, 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 just... <laughs> I, just Bring a few things and we'll choose. Sit down. <laughs> I'll get in there and, and sit down. Yeah, and I'm you. I'm parched. I mean, you have to understand, like it's dry. And and there are some waters for you. You are uh, at a briefing table with a hollow uh, vid in the center, and after about f five minutes, you hear a 
incredibly familiar pattern of footsteps that you have known your entire life. Coming down the hallway towards the... I'm just gonna turn my head slowly toward the, the door. And you see burnout stand up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow his lead, and then I'm gonna make sure that everybody else, I'm like, up, 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 and zigzag, up, be cool. And I, I like pose her so that she is, looks like a respectful person. <laughs> <coughs> and as the, you can hear the footsteps turn around the corner and into the boardroom, and you see your mother walking towards you. But that is actually not possible because my mother is dead. She's not, that's not possible. She is walking directly toward you. Is she at a train? Boy, it's gonna get real awkward real quick, huh? Fuck. <laughs> oh man, I, I really thought this was gonna go different. Maybe it could still be cool. <laughs> we ready for that? <laughs> okay, um, I, 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 I basically, I'm gonna, I'm trying to address her as Etta. Stavron, what are you doing? What are you doing? As aside from returning from the grave. I was never dead. Well, I, you could have fooled me. In fact, you have fooled me uh, for quite a long time. It was necessary. You know, that, you know that Uncle Logan has taken over the entire company and given me a boot full of shit to operate. Yes, and I know everything. I know ZZ is doing well. I know burnout uh, is... Definitely opposed to her being in a mech. <laughs> God, she knows all of it. She well, knows all my secret shames, but she, yeah. does, she doesn't know. Like, I thought I taught you better. You left an open line of communication through space. <laughs> I've been able to monitor your ship for the past year. I'm gonna, now I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug her. And she just, I'm, I'm just gonna move over and I'm gonna yeah. say, please tell me you, you can't see how messy my room is. <laughs> please tell me that's, please tell me that's not one of the things that you can see, Mom. We're going to talk about this later. Oh, God. And she hugs you back. <clears throat> with... I'm, I've been busy. I, and that's, it, it, it helps, honestly. Like, I don't need to put them in the drawer. I can, I can see where all my clothes are, and I can decide what I want to wear. When I wash and dry them, I just leave them out. What are you doing here? I've been the one guiding you ever since you took over. Why do you think you got so many missions? Because I'm great. <laughs> Right. I love you, son. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at it? Yes, you are. Rashawn I love coughs. you. <laughs> Rashawn, it's like I know all about you. I say, so what can you tell me about where we are and what's going to happen next? How much else do you know? Right now, we have... The Combine is using maglev technology. They board into the center of this planet and they are catapulting supplies through space. And we need to destroy this silo. And this could stop that invasion for, by at least six to 10 months. How much material have they already sent? Uh, more, than, more than it should be. So, I mean, it's... I asked, is there a big switch on it or something? We just... No, you just blow it up. So, yes. <clears throat> how, how defended is it? Pretty, pretty well defended. You're going to need everybody. And it's, not, and it's not just... And I'm coming with you. I, I just... How much are we getting paid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say... How much are we getting paid? Excuse me? <laughs> I, I'm, kind of in, I'm kind of in super big trouble. Um, With who? A, a f I love you, Mom. A lot of people. And um, I have about 10 bucks. Um, and... Uh, some beef jerky, and that's, that's most of it. That's most of what I got. So you want me to give you an allowance? 
would you? <laughs> <laughs> I say, you're asking me to do a lot more than clean my room here, Mom. I'm your mother. I know that you're my mother, but there's a lot, there's a lot going on. You're telling me they hollowed out a planet you, you want us to stop the people who hollow out planets and turn them into railguns for ordnance. I think it's reasonable to ask for some compensation. I mean, that, you, you know what I mean? No, I don't, actually. Okay. I, sh I should just, you're saying that I should do it because I'm a good person? Yeah, and you're my son, and I'm, and I'm asking you to do it. Would you like me to tell you to do it? I mean, that would make me do it. Yeah. Is that what's happening now? No. Just say it. Because I'll, I'll, I'll argue with you forever if you don't just do it. You're going to do this, and maybe you'll get your allowance. When do we start? Right now. And we can talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. And I, just, I, 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 just, I look back to everybody, and I, I, point, I point to ZZ, or ZigZag. Yeah, okay, dude. cool. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Burnout, did you? I had no clue, kid. Do, do I think that that's true? I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my leadership um, against him because that's my best skill. Okay, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> All right, 2d6 plus four. Oh, okay, eight, 12. You'd have no idea if he's telling he's the truth or not. He's just stone face. He's got three cigars. <laughs> <laughs> his mouth is just full of cud. He even, he even brought out the good shell necklace. Yeah, yeah under, exactly. for the Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, yeah. he's pukaed uh, from hell to breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm ready to get. Well, I need to resolve this so that I can find out the answers to the rest of my pressing questions. Um, so uh, I, am, I am advocating that we get back in the Calypso and go immediately to whatever this uh, wicked hell planet they've invented is that's actually a material gun. She actually, uh, uh, on the holovid, puts out a, uh, a map of the location. Oh, like, not a, like, a, like, a full, like a full... Full detail. Like a full detail blow up. Yep. Like, is it a cut or is it like, does this model actually show the planetoid? No, it, it, it's, it's a cut. It shows the actual um, silo, and it is surrounded by several buildings and an airstrip. Oh, okay, so this, this central silo is where the, mm -hmm. is actually where the, the, the supplies, supplies lozenges are being launched through. Yep, exactly. Wow. She says, we don't have much time. We can talk later. I know this is a lot for you. Let's just, let's get this done, and we'll, we'll talk about it over dinner. This is 15, 20 minutes, probably. I'm just Josh. Sure. <laughs> Punch your no, I mean, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be harder than that. You said it was really bad. I mean, what, are we, what are we talking about? We're talking about battle mechs? We're talking about what? Emplacements? Yep. Remote artillery? Yep. What's the air support? None. Yeah. How long has it been since you've seen your mother? Uh, forever. Forever. I, I, I was under the impression that she was gone when I was 14. But now she's rematerialized, re and we're still in the shock phase. We're still in the shock phase. And then, so I'm in, I am very interested in getting this battle, like, pushing through this. Like, that's the motivation, so that I can come back and get the rest of my, the, the rest of my, uh, very loud questions. So Starbin is more of a mess than he normally is. No, oh, no, no, exactly. Like, there's, his face is wet um, with grease and sweat. <laughs> there's a lot to consider. Okay. You ready? Are you? I am ready, I think. Yeah, we get back, we get back in. The lights go on. Mech bay, my mech bay. Uh, I'm up in front holding onto the strap. And you see your mother's mech come around the Calypso, and it is the same crab that she went on. From back, oh, for like her old crab from back in the day? Mm hmm Oh, wow. Same, like, same livery? Yep. Oh, shit. Get, I just said, god damn. Like, that's, that's basically like, you know, it's like when you're a kid, like, you look up, 
to your parents. It's like, even my mech was smaller than her mech. Yeah. Right, I'm looking up out of the cockpit at this thing, and now this thing's wheeling around, and I'm even smaller than usual. And she says the words that you heard the first time you went out. You ready, soldier? Aye, aye. All right, let's drop down. I just, I, I just, I'm so delighted by it. I just want to, I just want to live there, basically. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at, look at, look at this delicious feast our friend Eric has made for us. I like to think that as we are coming up, like, as we're, we're cresting this ridge coming down in the Calypso, like on our hollow representation up in the cabin, it basically comes in with the scan slice by slice mm -hmm. like this. So it's like, as I'm looking at it, it's coming up chunk by chunk as the scans reach the correct resolution. Um, and then, if you'll allow it, I think we descend right down into the battlefield with the camera. It's very exciting. Yeah. But I, I, see some, I see some things that I have not seen in the home game, and I'm deeply distressed. You should be. I, that seems like a lot of missiles. See, this is the thing, about these, this, the thing about these little guys, is that they're cheap, but they can still punch a hole straight through you if, they, if you let them run. Yeah, your intelligence shows you that there are LRM carriers and <laughs> Pegasus uh, scouts. You also know that there's a Phoenix Hawk and a Thunderbolt on the field patrolling the area. Now, you have two objectives. Right. First, either take out the opposing Op 4. The Op 4, yeah. Or destroy the silo. If you can destroy the silo before taking out the Op 4, you get a bonus. Each one of your mechs will get an upgrade of your choice. Whoa, that's huge. Okay, so this, this, is, this is behind the scenes. This is the sort of resources my mother apparently has command of. That's a significant investment. Because you know through scans that there are lots and lots of supplies that can be used that are being shipped out. Well, absolutely. And in fact, it's pro probably I mean, just to establish the scene. I mean, I would take the coin if we were still sitting over yeah. there. I think that the whole time we're here, like the whole time we're engaging in this, like even as we, even as we uh, disembark from the Calypso, I think the whole time we're here, we can see these supplies, you know, wrapped in this, you know, wrapped in this, uh, these iron lozenges. <laughs> they're all waiting to be shot out oh, of Oh yeah, this. yeah, they're all, they're all coming in and it's basically firing war. Mm -hmm to some distant place, and it's happening the whole time we're here. Yeah. Oh, man, all right, that's so, you can so set kick up ass. Anywhere along that edge. Okay. You don't get the rifleman. You can have, uh, that's not actually there. But you have ZZ. Yep. Okay, so ZZ will pilot the Nova Prime. The Nova, mm -hmm. because it punches so hard up close and in mid. Um, Yeah, and this is... That's Kenji. Kenji. Okay. And it's just right, like, literally at the edge? Uh, you got three inches to play with. 
or hold on. Five inches to play with. Okay. Well. Kenji and uh, Stavrin. Kenji are a Ronin mech warrior, and Stavrin have a very competitive relationship on the field. They like to needle and bother each other the whole time, so I'm going to set them up here. And he just looks over. He's like, really? That close? <laughs> Listen. I mean, I know if you wanted tips, you could have just asked. Yes. Are we not best friends? Have I, have, I, have I misread this whole situation, Kenji? You want to go do karate in the garage? <laughs> Would you? Can we? I'll just reach over my hand. Would that that be nice, pal? So you have mom coming up the center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Well, she she is basically her modus is that she wants to be close, but not so close. She has to let me grow, Kiko. All right. Well, uh, ZZ as sort of a protege in in making of uh, there, there's Roshan. No question. Uh, comes in with Roshan sort of on the flank here. Dude, this hanger has me cranked up. What? That is a killer. That is such a cool model. I thought there was more cover there, but I don't think there actually <laughs> no, is. It's no. A, there's no door at all. <laughs> there's no door. <laughs> this angle looks like a giant. No, that's just a whole, in fact, it's kind yeah. of like a, it's a rich cameo that yeah. really helps them get their uh -huh. weapons centered in right it's on just you. just cheesecloth. <laughs> and remember, this has 50 points on it. 50 so points of damage? 50 points of damage. So if you can knock that down, you get the bonus. Well, we do want the bonus. I, th I, think we, I think that we can move on that really fast. I mean, mm -hmm. the only question is um, what we can see over here. And I, and I, I see that they have, some, they have some combined arms type situation, but who's this jag off poking out back here? You know it's a thunderbolt. Yeah, all right. All right, I mean, we're, we're set up. Yep. I think we're, we're ready to go. Are you ready for initiative? Yep. You can use that one. Okay, cool. Seven. Seven. Eight. God, so it's, it hot, it's, it's hot dice Benson back again. Now, if, if, you are, if you are used to other games, maybe with dice that have more sides, you know that if there's a 20 in there, it's time to get really, really excited. Mm -hmm. In this, if the dice look like this, that's... This is very good. This is, you should celebrate for that like you celebrate for Kiko. It should be that level. Optimal. Optimal. Uh, that goes right through and starts to hurt uh, the tender, the creamy middle of the mech. It's not like you're going to roll it. No, no, no. It never, it, it, what are the chances? Yeah. What, you know, what, you know, one, one in 12. Six to so the second power. <laughs> what's unique for Battletech Alpha Strike is when you win an initiative, you don't necessarily go first. So please. Yes. Feel free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it basically, what it means, it, it, losing initiative in this game basically means that we have to move first, mm -hmm. and then you get to respond to the placement. Yeah, so it's delightful. It sort of works opposite the way that games like this often do. Uh, yeah, thank you. All right. So you ready? Oh, yeah. And it's also, it, this is, there is different versions of, of Battletech, obviously, in Alpha Strike. All your main stats are like down on one little card mm -hmm. that, you know, and you can, it's dry erase. You can track everything on it. It's awesome. All right, now, so we're going to move uh, basically one mech. One right? mech, yep. Okay. Well, Kenji uh, has decided that he doesn't want to be my uh, battlefield friend anymore. And he is going to make a run for this side. A run or a sprint no, no, or he, a ground move? He's just, he's just going to do ground okay. movement. Because every one of those types of movement affects how hard you are to hit. Right. So, so Kenji has decided that this, is, that this is not... He does not want to be part of a buddy movie. He, he did not sign up for that. Man, I have not, se I have not seen the models and sculpts for the, the hovercraft. Oh, man. It brings a tear to the eye. So he's trying to get tucked in over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that Stavrin is going to move. I have 14 inches total of movement. 
and if the closer I can get to this, now, which is the actual silo? Is the base part of it? Nope, just the big the, piece. The raw, the actual silo mm -hmm. itself. So if you Remember, can, when you're, it's standing still, so when you shoot at it, it's a negative four. It's clean. Yeah, so, so if, if you so get a clean you, shot, it's, it's almost an auto hit. Okay, well here, then that means I can deliver even my mid-range damage with significant ease. But as long as I'm moving around on the battlefield, my mongrel's very hard to hit, which I love. Right, so mongrel's gonna move up there. You see the other LRM move over into position. <laughs> it's just a nasty, it's just a bristle of, of, of LRMs on a floaty bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the crab is gonna roll in over her. and just continue backing Stavron's play over here. I feel like, I feel like Samira and Zizi could liquefy this thing in the middle if we work fast. Yeah, there's just a lot of an ordinance over there. <laughs> you don't like it? You see the Phoenix Hawk jump over. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So are you going to be our duelist, maybe? Um, Roshan, I think, wants to counter that last maneuver, so he's going to move uh, still more cautious than usual due to well, his previous. He got, he got burned, basically. Uh, so he's going to move around here. It's a great white scenario. I'm craving the running commentary, by the way. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of great data. Um, I, have, I, just, I want you to know that I appreciate it. I'm not even mad. I, I, I'm here to do, that's when I was playing too. You can play it again. It's still real. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> the Alpha so, Strike box set, like, I'm Susie. Yeah. It, is probably the best value in the entire hobby. So consider it. I know that you'll be able to find it out there. Oh, absolutely. I would be more than happy to. So I'll use this, uh, this powerful rod here. If we can get the overhead shot. This is our, uh, our Ronin, uh, Kenji. My character, who ran his mouth for a literal hour, uh, Stavron Otho, uh, drives this mongrel A, uh, which is call signed Rascal. This crab uh, is uh, his mother Hannah's vehicle. Stav or, no, not Stavron, but uh, Rashawn Cole drives this timber wolf, codenamed Samira. And back here in the corner, our mechanic, only recently uh, begun to pilot Max, back here in this corner um, is Zigzag. And, and then there's just a bunch of assholes over there. <laughs> we don't know who they are. <laughs> Um, so, ZZ, uh, from uh, the gauntlet. Yes, she's um, picked up some bad habits. She's already looking for power-ups on the field. But uh, actual mechs are like the boss fights. Yeah. So she sees like regular targets. Yeah, as wave, as, as like wave enemy chaff, yeah. right? And uh, basically, uh, Goes into like a fugue state. <laughs> well, she basically goes into the flow state. Into the flow <laughs> state and jumps out here on her own. She just makes her. She just makes her move, and I can and I can see this like on my readout because I I have like the the commander level uh, you know computation, and I can just see this errant vector out in a completely side flank maneuver. If she's able to clean up a couple of those, she'll be able to sweep in on the side of the whole field. And you're, you're all moved, right? Oh yeah, yeah. we've all moved. Yeah. We're, ready to, we're ready to see what you got. God, those are so handsome. Did you, get, did you get those from Catalyst? I did. They are so handsome. I agree. Mm, yeah, man, that, those things have got 
Those hovercrafts have got crazy movement. We need to get a couple of these motherfucking tanks. They will be releasing uh, with the Mercenaries uh, Kickstarter. I backed it. I did too. All right, fire away. Okay. Since you lost the initiative. It's true, it's true. Now, uh, does Kenji have a shot on this? Probably not, right? No, he, no, he definitely doesn't. He can't, really, he can't really see that. Nope. I do think that he has a clean shot yep. um, on this LRM package right there. What kind of range are we talking about here? Long range. Long range. Okay, so that's a, that's a special designation on here. Yep, so his skill level is three. Yes. So, so in this, three is quite, yep. quite skilled. Uh, Stavron, Stavron skills mostly, mostly involve the mouth. Yep. Um, the, the TMM is one, so that's up to a four. You are at long range, that's another four, so you gotta get an eight. All right, uh, let's drop an eight on there, and at long range, I can deal three damage if, I, uh, if the dice gods uh, assist me. So let's get an eight. What? Let's, let's just open the show up uh, correctly. Um, so this means a couple things. First of all, it means that even at that long range, I'm able to get the hit, but also this configuration, as we suggested before, means we strike internal portions of these vehicles. But my guess is that... Uh, I, I, I'm able to you're, deliver. you're already striking the internals. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so three damage comes across. Now I need to roll you a crit. Roll me a crit. But ciao! <laughs> what the... Well... Boom! <laughs> that thing blows right up as you see a chain reaction. Yeah, and Ken Kenji would just take this shot, like, immediately just steps out, weapons just bristling. It so goes straight we through need to the enemy. Actually, explain what happened. Once you get through the armor and into the structure points, mm -hmm. you have to roll a crit, and there's a table. Oh no, there's a whole table, and different bad things happen to them. Correct. All through the numbers. But there's only one that says unit destroyed on the table. And <laughs> right. you rolled unit destroyed. Yeah, it's like, it was a crit, one and, shot, then, and one then it just, got, it just yeah. popped, right? Have you ever rolled two crits in a row? No, no, that's not me. That isn't who I am. <laughs> uh, if anybody saw me last night, it's a lot of ones. Um, <laughs> but that's, you know, this is the best thing about Battletech. There's no way for me to roll a one. The worst I can roll is two. No, but, but here's the worst part. It's Kenji. Oh, no, it's the worst. And so, and so it's like the, the first shot of the whole thing, kill. And then I just see the twist of the torso over toward the mongrel. And Kenji says, you're already behind. <laughs> oh! All right. So we, we, we basically, you do now, all your now that we've now. moved, our whole force goes. Yep. But because it's Battletech, even if we pop them, they, they get, get to respond. Get to, this is all simultaneous It's simultaneous. Action. They get yeah. to repost. Um, it's just that they get to fire with the benefit of having seen us move already mm -hmm. in, in most cases. All right, so what do you think? Do you want to drop something? I don't know if uh, Roshan and Samir here have a shot on this. Can they get here. the silo? They don't uh, have a shot on the Phoenix yes. Hawk. I know that. I guess we should play scenario. I mean, there's two things. Play scenario is big, but mm -hmm. the, the Thunderbolt... I don't know if I have enough. You do not have yeah, enough. Yeah, here. But uh, if you want to put seven points of damage directly into this stationary no, structure. You're, yeah, you're, you're way too covered if you yeah, look. Yeah, the, the silhouette of Samira is not exposed enough to see yeah. Yeah. Uh, around this corner. On the other um, hand, you know, this, you know, every, every, few, every few minutes, another one of these lozenges yeah. goes straight up and out of the silo. So Roshan targets the, the silo. This shouldn't be that difficult for him. Uh, his base uh, three. skill is three, like Kenji, so he's good. Yes, at, quite good. At being in the, in the chair. Um, so we start at the three. Uh, it is medium range, so that adds two. Yep. Uh, so we're at a five. Well, then it's, and then it's negative, still. Negative four, negative so four, you auto hit. So, okay. You auto hit. Auto, maybe you, I you crit want... it. <laughs> yeah. well, no, this is true. It, it gets an engine hit. Yeah. It doesn't have pace. All right, I auto hit for seven points seven of damage. Seven points of damage, okay. All right, so we're just going to keep yep. stripping that thing. We're just going to mm -hmm. keep pulping it. All right. Um, 43 to go. Exactly. I, I think that, the, I think that uh, Hannah is going to uh, is going to deliver more uh, beams directly into the silo um, off of her crab. What is, what, is Hannah's skill four? Four. Like Stavron? Yep. Okay. Um, 
This shouldn't be too bad. This is a, a medium range hit. So, so base skill four plus two for medium range is six. It's standing still. Auto hit. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's feeling great, but listen, it's throwing dice is fun, Eric. Hey, you hit! You should be using these when we need them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these dice over here in the, in the dice humidor so that I can come back to them and they'll be at the maximum freshness. How much damage um, does the, she do? The, the crab at that range drops two. 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 Oh, that's cute. Hey, listen, I, don't be, don't, listen, it's fine if I talk about my mom, but you can't talk about my mom. That's not how it works. <laughs> I am your mom. What? <laughs> yeah, you fucking think about yeah, that for yeah. a while. Um, all right, here, so you've gone, Crab, Kenji, uh, right here at this threshold for the, the mongrel. It's basically the same roll, which is an auto hit from Stavron on that as well. So go ahead and grab four more points off of the central tower. All right, now the, the big question, Kiko, is what is Zigzag gonna do over here? I think Zigzag has um, uh, reticles on vehicles and not, not yeah, the Yeah, she's, uh, she's trying to silo. clean up. Mm -hmm. But here, this vehicle is crafty enough to yeah. have obscured itself completely. Correct. Um, unfortunately, she's a flank element. Yeah, she's a flank element. The Nova Prime doesn't have uh, a long range. No. Yeah, um, and I, I think the, that uh, shuttle and uh, other structure are going to block the, this the Phoenix here. Hawk. Um, Could get the LRM though, but I no believe it's long, long range. range. But let's go ahead and measure it. Uh, medium range is 24, 24 inches. inches. It's 32. And it's 32, yeah. so that's so too, too much. Long. She, again, flank um, element. Yeah, flank this element. A, it's a franchise she's, turn. She's easy. drawing these assets to exactly. the side so that we can focus on the silo. Hopefully, ZZ doesn't regret. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And situation. because I'm gonna have to talk to her dad about it a lot. So uh -huh. it creates huge problems for me. So thanks obviously for, for putting her over there. <laughs> All right, so now the, now the riposte. The riposte, the LRM is gonna go after you. Uh, you are, you definitely do not have cover. Here? No, uh, the mongrel. Oh, you the mongrel, oh, you're, oh, oh, right on me? Like, yep. There's five you necks here. specifically. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean, I don't mean Stavron Otho, I mean Jerry Holkins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hit it. Uh, so we're looking at a skill of three, uh, no cover, uh, long range, so that's four, so that's, we're looking at seven. What's the TMM of? The TMM is the whole reason I use this battle map. It's three, so it, it, it dances and shimmies in the breeze. So we need a ten. Yes. And you, and let's just do it. Just, I don't want to hear about it. That's a three. Okay, that's yes. so that's much a, lower that's than a 10. Solid oh my god. Three. It's sad. So it take, does it take damage or anything? Because it sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> does it just blow up? <laughs> no. Oh, I, I don't know how it works. I, I, I've never played this game before. <laughs> uh, the Thunderbolt. The, oh, the Thunderbolt has long range. This is going to be tough. It's going to go after uh, Hannah and the Crab. Right. Uh, so we are looking at a three plus, what's the TMM? The TMM on the old crab is two. So five plus one for cover is six. Another 10 uh, for long range. Perfect. What are we looking at? Solid seven. Okay, it's still very low. A shameful roll. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for all of this. <laughs> you can't say things like this over and over. Scott. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? You want to get tacos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go after Kenji. Yeah. Just get a little, get a little sliver of him over there. Mm -hmm. So, what's Kenji's TMM? Kenji's TMM. I've always been shocked. The gargoyle is actually a two TMM. Okay, so we're at five plus cover is six plus long ranges. We're back at ten again. It's, it's surely it'll happen this time. <laughs> did you touch my dice before <laughs> this? Did, listen, all you have to do is look at, the, look at what's coming up on these dice, brother. Uh, listen, it's hot today. We, we gotta go to Vegas after this. Yeah. Well, I do. <laughs> but this one's gone. No, it's gone. Yes. It's out there. All right, and that, all right. That's, that's a full round, That's right? a full round. Initiative right. time. Let's get it. Are you ready, Mr. Bentz? The number of the beast. What the? You changed that die. No! 
<laughs> it's real. Fuck. Um, and this is the thing. It's like it's one thing to lose initiative at the beginning. Getting initiative the second round where everybody's moved yeah. the first time. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yes. So now the opor has to expose themselves. Yes. They have to give it. They have to show us their their vittles, their treats. Chomp down on the hovercraft. Okay. Uh, you you want to? Yeah. I, let's... Honestly, the, the, the best thing for her is probably if you if we want her to be a true flank element. Yeah. We want to wait until that has to move. Yeah. I mean, that whole role for initiative mm -hmm. is to give us that opening. Yep. Right. Uh, so they're over here. I think that a good play for me is to Kenj. Ah, you know what? I don't think it's to Kenj. To Kenj, to Kenj or, or not to Kenj. To Kenj or not to Kenj. No, I think that the right play for me is actually to scoot myself over here and get another angle shot on this, maybe obscure myself from this side of the map. So I'll be able to use this to get shots on the core. Keep looking over to see if Eric has any models. Yeah, any, yeah, any mechs. There. There, he might have mechs on the other edge of the foam that we can't see. I could go over there at any time. You can ask them, too. <laughs> do, you guys see, do you guys see any robots that we don't see? Is there any mechs? <laughs> Is there anything on the other side? You have to tell me. I found it the show. <laughs> they, they won't do it. <laughs> there yeah. I am. All right. right. All right, you ready? Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's basically these, these, the long angle flanks. That's what we're waiting for, right? Crab is going to scoot over and take a shot from the other side. Right there. Yeah, with objective, it really makes sense for us to draw them out. Yes, we, we want them yeah. to. But like a poultice, just mm -hmm. draw the poison out, and then we'll grab this objective, and then we'll just start putting holes in battle mechs. I, I think you might be onto something with this flank on this side. Even, even as soon as she gets close to something, she's dropping six damage close and mid. All right, you can't shoot this through this little hangar bay here, right? Nah. I don't think the people at home have a, no. an angle. That yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all. You'd have to be hollow. right on in the yeah. in the entrance way. So I think there's a firing solution from this here, position. Now, can you do me a favor, Kiko? Yes. The only can we have her move to this side of the building? I don't think she can target that. I don't want. I, I'm, I'm worried about targeting from across field. Okay. Just to give her some cover over. What from would this Zizi side. do? She would walk on the wrong side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> WWZZD. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's where she would go. All right. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't want any mordant chuckles. You're spending a lot of time targeting the Otho clan directly here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now that that element has moved, I think there is a play for the gargoyle, which moves like a comically, comically long 10 inches. What? For being such a beast. God, I wonder if, it, but Kenji also has a ton of armor. I wonder if it's okay to expose him this once. Or do I just make him our right Kenji element? Kenji just got uh, one shot, one kill. I think he's probably feeling pretty good about himself. Yeah, his right numbers now. are good. So, so what he's going to do is probably, is, yeah, not worry about exposing himself currently because yeah. he's feeling right. I'm going to scooch over there with ground movement. Mm. Oh, were you trying to get a shot from the Phoenix Hawk? But my placement was too savvy, <laughs> too rich. Phoenix Hawk looks so good. Gotcha. 
God, it feels so much cooler when you're playing with like studio painted models. Dude, it's too here. much. Like, we know that the painting adds a lot, yeah. right? Okay, so so they are trying to create their own counter flank situation over mm -hmm. here. I think they're. I think ultimately they give this side up. I think it's just not worth it for them to maintain it. All right. Well, Samira still has. Samira still has oh, to go oh, exactly, uh, exactly. Roshan. But um, but your your damage output is so vast. I think that at the end of the day, this tower is going to be mostly your work. Like y that's true. Yeah, this was. But Roshan is also looking at the uh, battlefield the layout field. and sees ZZ. Uh, true, true. His protege. Go on an adventure. <laughs> That's and, literally um, like an IRL. That's what's happening. And he wants to make sure that she stays in one piece. So he's going to make sure that he has all the firing angles covered to support her um, as she maneuvers. Nice. So big brother shit is what you're saying. Yes. Now we're done. Now we're going to fire. Yes. Well, you're going you're gonna to fire. Yep. And what we're looking for is numbers between two and four. Okay, none of these can see each other. Yeah, this is, this, they, they're sneaking around over here. Thunderbolt can see Stavern. So that's a three plus, what's, uh, uh, TMM is three? Absolutely. Six, seven, it's 11 uh, points. It's bad. Oh, yeah, it's I bad. Mean, it's, 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 a, it's a rough one. It's a solid six. Yes. We'll About go half over, of what's required. We'll go over here and attack the crab with the LRMs. Mm -hmm. That's going to be three plus... L, uh, a TMM two. on that? Yep. Uh, that is a two. Two, five, plus a, cover. A live We're back at creature. ten. Ha! No! Six. Dude, I'm telling you, they can, we, have, we have to do all of our games live on stage. <laughs> yeah. The numbers are working. Man, I don't get this. This is not how it works at home. I can't stress that enough. And I have no more shots left. So. You have magic dice at home. All right, you ready, Keek? Um, let's see. Let's what, see. He doesn't have a shot here? The uh, Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt. Uh, didn't oh, right, yeah, for the already worked. Already worked. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, he's a... Roshan's a little bit worried about the Thunderbolt with the exposure of mm -hmm. Zigzag. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah, I think yeah. He's gonna, he, he hates this angle. He's going to try and maybe put down some covering fire, uh, dissuade him from looking over here. Long range. Long. So long range. Uh, starting it at three, uh, long range is plus four. Four. With cover is five. Is there cover? Yeah, he's behind the... One third behind this thing. From this? From this? <laughs> From this, Mr. Benson. Okay, okay, I'll give that to you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so but. So five plus four is nine. Or no. What was it? Yeah. Three. Three plus four. four. Um, uh, TMM. One. One. So uh, eight. We're looking at eight. eight. We love what we're seeing. So Rashawn uh, opens up with the LRM racks. With hey. a 10. What in the? <laughs> ten. Chica, yay! So that's long range. That's four damage. Okay. And you, you see armor just get shredded off mm -hmm. of the uh, thunderbolt. Just peeling away. Um, all right, so Kenjito is He's not, got no shot. He, there's nothing clean over there. I think that that there might be a cover shot here. Yeah, but yeah, you got a cover shot. I, I think it might be better just to continue putting numbers on the center. Yes. Right. And so I'm just going to go ahead and you you said that it's pretty clean as as a shot goes. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place four damage on the central core. But I'm going to roll because it's a lot of fun. Okay. Hey, you hit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Five. Yay. I'm going to tell my mom. Um, <laughs> Look, Mom, look what I did. Good right. job, son. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. All right, now, um, the crab doesn't really have anything at this extreme range, mm -hmm. but she can be a reliable source of mid-range damage as well. Did so, you want to roll for that one, too? No, it's, it's going to hit. Um, I did it, too, son. <laughs> Yay! You know what? We're a great family. This That's is another, what love can do. Another two damage? Yeah, another okay. two damage ah. on the central core. So it's at 19 out of 50. All right. So Zigzag, yes. uh, being a new pilot, what is Zigzag's skill again? Uh, she's at a five. She's at a five, okay. 
Um, obviously, that looks like a medium. Uh, what is the ground move TMM on this little guy over here? Three. Three. So eight medium is another two. So 10 for zigzag uh, plus one for cover. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Nine? Nine for zigzag. Wait, what? No, 11, right? 11. 11 yeah. for zigzag. Yeah. <laughs> so. I can do math. This is it. <laughs> no, that's a five. God, finally. <laughs> Jeez. It just keeps dropping them. I just, know. Just putting them in, putting the holes in them. All right, so that, uh, you have gone and of course We're succeeded. Gone. We're good on this side. That's, this side's good? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, now. But Mr. Benson, are you ready to win the initiative? For another yeah. invigorating round of initiative. How many points do As we think are left on the silo? You have 19 points on it. Uh, okay, so out of 50, we've done 31 19 damage. Left. Now, this, you're, you're about to learn why they call me Mr. Jerry Hot Dice. <sighs> what the fuck? What is six? Okay. Six. I thought there was two four. Right. No, no, six, which is the number of the beast. Okay, that's six. Here. Oh, it's actually equal. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Jeez. What in the? F I just kicked. This is <laughs> this is Sparta, motherfucker. I, I put numbers in boxes. What'd you get? An Eleven. 11. <laughs> Brother. Well, well played. Well played. All right. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Come back in and out. <laughs> okay. Seven. All right. All right. All right. Mid range. Yeah, just put them in there. Ah, Woo! you just kept the 11. All right, that's fine. All right, here. So let's start scooching over here. And in fact, I think that we're going to continue with the crab with a safe move right over here, maintain big cover, but still be able to put holes on the silo. Gonna move an inch. Just a little scoochy. I've seen this. I've <laughs> Just seen these that techniques. TMM. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's vital. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to leave Kenji over there for a little while because there's going to there's about to be a duel between this Phoenix Hawk and the uh, gargoyle, mm -hmm. right? But I think that the right call for me here with the garg or with, the, with my mongrel is I'm going to scooch over here. I think that if we can just scoop that whole side and like sheepdog them into a kill box over here, I think it's good news. So I'm actually just gonna take my mother's advice and we're just gonna do -si do around the side. Oh, is he, is he tired of getting his ass shot? Mm -hmm. Back in his hidey hole? Does he take a lot of damage? No. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, he's one yeah. step on each side. <laughs> he's got special lava boots. What's Kenji? It's Metroidvania. Over here. Well, so I've moved, move, move there. I mean, I don't want Kenji to move until, All right. until that Shadowhawk. Then, uh, but that Phoenix has moved. ZZ is going to continue to get wild and make a jump Dude, she, she's over here. So aggressive. I think that's about. I think that that's about to get. We're about to find out how fast that hovercraft can actually move. I think. I think he's been waiting for this. <laughs> I think he's been. I think that he's been waiting for that back arc shot. On a mech that has the structure of a tin can. What's happening on the other side yeah. of this side? So uh, is, is there a, now that that's moved over there, I think there's a Samira play here in the middle. I might scoot over here and get clean shots on the... Yeah, that on makes the, sense. On the Thunderbolt at medium um, range, which is where you excel. But Roshan is still going to keep his field of fire wide enough to try and support Zigzag. Won't be able to see that hovercraft, but I think we'll be okay here. This is... You've created a whole, like, B plot in this fight with Zigzag. <laughs> but one I think is about to come to an explosive conclusion. Can you move that over there for me, please? Right here. Pull Facing back. Here. 
Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Face the building, yeah, please. Pull, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, 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 your other back. The back, back, back. The Backstreet Boys back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 back towards you. Oh, this way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not up there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Right here? A little forward. Towards me. Towards me. How's it facing? Is that what you want? F face it around the other way. Yeah. Yes. What? I, I was talking about doing the back arc here. The, is that what we're trying to, are you trying to shoot? Oh, that's the fin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a, a jaunty hat. Mm -hmm. Now I see why you're so mad. <laughs> here, like this. Yes. Okay. All right, God, they've really saved this movement. Is that a ground move? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they've really saved this movement over here. Now I gotta commit. Um, the, the gargoyle moves really fast, though. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I think he might have screwed up pretty bad here. Yeah. Why don't I just come back here and get entirely out of your arc? and shoot you in the ass. Okay, well. I think someone just got played. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think I might have been manipulated. And it wasn't me and it wasn't Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump with, put him under there, mm -hmm. behind the recover, but enough to get the Kenji. Yep, to get the Kenji. Yep. All right, is it time to shoot? It is. All right. Uh, we lost. You lost. Yeah, exactly. So go for it. So it's time to shoot. What do you think, Keith? What do you want to open up with? I mean, uh, the, the, the Samira Thunderbolt seems like the cleanest. Let's just uh, compile. Also, remember, you've got 19 points on the silo. Exactly. We can compile our silo damage here, I guess. Yep. Which would be an easy, what is it, six? It's five total. Five total? Mm hmm So we'll just keep piling that up from the, oh, you're right. No, you're it right. is six. It's six. Six medium. I used, to have, I used to have different sets on that medium. Yeah, yeah, so, so that'll so the be a Mongol reliable six. And the uh, crab are gonna do six uh, total damage to the silo. Okay. Uh, I think that Roshan wants to continue to put damage on this uh, mech over here, the Thunderbolt. Uh, so we have, uh, starting at three, yeah. uh, plus two for medium range is five. The TMM is one. Mm -hmm. So that's six. This is so, I'm so pleased. That is nine that on the dice. How much damage? Four? That is seven points seven of damage. Seven damage. Give me a crit. <laughs> okay, crit we, roll. We spent a lot of money. Okay, crit roll is seven. seven MP dice. hit. So uh, what is an MP hit for that, those players? Uh, halves the movement. Oh, so boy, it now has an eight. Oh, that would. I, never mind. I should be jumping with that guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's, but he's actually he's been hobbled at this point. Yeah. Right. Which is great because he's out in the open. Oh no, it's totally really, exposed. really bad. Yeah. This is this is the gazelle that gets at. <laughs> um, now over here, who played who? This is going to be the question ultimately. Um, I do. I can see half of this thing, so you'll, I can, you'll, I can you'll, take a cover shot cover here, shot, right? Yeah. I, we were so close. It's not short range. I know, I know. I fantasized yeah. all night um, about this shot, but mm -hmm. it, was, it was incorrect. So um, Kenji, of course, being a, a real uh, baller like Rashawn, starts at three, mm -hmm. medium range here, um, adds well, two. The jump first. Hurt. For, oh, hold yeah, on. The, the jump first, again. the jump. So yep. that's um, a three total. Yep. So that's six. Six. Plus one for cover is seven. Plus two for medium for range. Medium range. So, so it's a nine. nine. So what you're saying is easy. Apparently today. <laughs> now what? Now what do you got? Half a nine. That's four. Yeah. yeah. Round up. So maybe he still actually did get played. Um, so we resolved these. That's resolved. And it's. Is there uh, anything? Zigzag for... doesn't really have a target over here. No. For ZZ. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess. Um, do your here worst. Comes, here comes the flood. Okay, Kenji. Uh, so a three plus uh, two for jumping, we're at five. What's Team, team M2, no cover. Team M2, we're at six, and two for medium, so eight. Oh, 
Oh, you got you're, you're about to see something horrible about the system. And when I say horrible, I mean scary and good. No, I'm not. I'm, I, it's not you worth it. save it? He okay. could not use his placard to add one, but then he wouldn't have it later when he's trying to kill me or my mother. So he's, de <laughs> he's decided to keep it, which, you know, that also says something about him. So we all have prior priorities. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the Thunderbolt is going to go after... Uh, Roshan? Roshan. Okay. So yeah. we're looking at a three plus... Uh, Team M2 Team plus M2 cover. Two, so six plus two for uh, medium is eight. eight. Come on! Ooh! Oh, right on. Damn. Eight. Bed. Yeah, it's right in there. Give me some damage. That's five points of damage. Ooh! Ah. That's... That's, in some cases, that's a whole mech. Yeah. So there's not a lot of armor left on Roshan's no, timber wolf. We have to clean this thing up. Yep. OK, the LRM is going to go after uh, Roshan as well. Oh, yeah, now he's in the, oh, yeah, now, he's clean. In the now he's in the, the position. It smells blood in the water. Yeah, exactly. OK, we have uh, three plus two, uh, so six, uh, eight again. Oh, thank God. No. That's a solid no. OK. I'm authentically worried about that now. The Pegasus <laughs> will go after ZZ. Uh, three, ooh, actually, this is short range. No. Surely not. Yes. Nah. OK, Nova Prime has a TMM of two, uh, but we did have a jump. Yep. So it's three plus three is six. Six points of six to hit. What a nightmare. That's six, exactly. Solid six. Dude, it was points, close. Three points of damage. It was okay. close. Yeah, she's going to put those SRMs and, uh, directly into that. Roshan sees fire coming directly into the back mm -hmm. of ZZ. Yeah, just from this like, off like, peripheral angle. Mm -hmm. He can't even see the Yeah, just the sees the, he sees the blast. He just sees blow the result. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. God, it's not it. There's a whole other. There's a whole other round yet. Are right, you ready? Was that another twelve? I wish it's a seven. That's an eight. Eight. All right. Well, let's get our mechs moved, Francisco. I think we want to leave this for as long as we can. I'm not sure it's going to save him, but I think we want to leave it for a bit. The only question is. I mean, they're continuing to fire on this, this middle piece. Should they actually be trying to put damage on? I mean, should they actually be contributing to the effort? Well, should they, should they play <laughs> Battletech? <laughs> and I think that's reasonable, especially on a Battletech stream. I think it's not crazy. Um, so, Or you just continue to let the teams get shot up. Yes, exactly. That's, that's, <laughs> I, I can, I'm in a management role. Um, so I, the way I think that... I mean, this is the question, and that's the question. Mm -hmm. We want to try to use our movement to coax out his moves on these edges, yeah. right? Um, so I think that there can be quite safe moves um, here for the mongrel. And in fact, I can tuck myself into this building and hopefully get a back angle here. What? Just tuck yourself inside the building yeah. so you're protected from all. Yeah, I, was, I want to make sure that I don't take any damage and my employees take the most amount of damage. That's a classic uh, management trick. Um, then your employees can uh, pay for their repairs. Exactly. <laughs> Huge savings for me. Um, you know what? No, oh, I can't go up there. That's too dangerous. <laughs> I, I, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. I'm going to scooch over here and uh, contribute in the a way that only I know how. OK, I'm going to move an inch here. Mink. <laughs> God. He's doing the potty dance over I there. I hate <laughs> these things. <laughs> Just these little bugs. <laughs> You go step on them. All right. We're going to come. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to move this crab over here and get a different view on this field. He's going to jump four inches now. Oh, that's awesome. OK. Now, Kenji. I don't want to lose this. I can't, we can't lose ZZ. So, so it's, it's a good thing you ran away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, 
it's, it's, uh, it's my prerogative. <laughs> da, 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 I can do what I want to do. Um, so the, the Garg does have 10 inches of movement. Away from the fight? Well, I mean, it's not. <laughs> Is that what Kenji would do, honestly? <laughs> well, he's got two people that can both get into his back arc. I mean, the main thing I want to do is try to avoid them getting in there, right? So what if I just don't give them a back arc? See, that, that's the Hulkins move. <laughs> uh, the, the rulers go away. <laughs> <laughs> These are suggestions. All these on here, I don't really know what they are. <laughs> Four. There's some clips on the channel that are pretty haunting if you think numbers are important. You son of a bitch. Or yeah. rules of the game. Yeah, yeah, rules, the, the rules are for losers. Oh, yeah, there we go. What's the base move of the... 18, jump. It's a lot. Yep. Jorp. Jackie right. Jorp Jump. Have you moved? What, him? Hey, are you oh, done? Yeah. Uh, no. We oh, got, you, got, you got the Nova. These two over here. Yeah. Um, boy, things turned. Yeah, they did. Uh, things were going super good, and now they're really in the shitter. Um, so, uh, where's this? What's the Samira play? I honestly. You're in, you're in, you're in a nasty. You're in a nasty place. I mean, armor is running low. Yeah, over I know, here. I know. I, there's two ways to. The, we can have this, the best defense being a strong offense. I mean, the issue is that we're not putting anything on the silo, and Roshan's the one to do it if we should. Like, Roshan putting damage on the silo is equivalent to multiple mechs doing it. No, no, it. absolutely. But, but if he cleans up this Thunderbolt. Right that really frees us up. And then once ZZ has a chance to do her, to do her dark work, things are gonna change fast for us, I think. How many more moves left do you have on that, on that side of the table? I've got the Pegasus over there. Uh, what, what about this? Oh, that too. <sighs> Same team, Jerry. <laughs> All right. Um, let's have... You gonna wheel around? Yeah, I think that's you the just call eat him? because... He's shuffled, correct? Mm -hmm. So let's get at least out of the firing arc of yeah. that little okay. vehicle. And then decent shot right there for Rashawn. Yeah. All right, now you're going to move. I, I assume you're going to move this hovercraft like into my colon. Mm -hmm. is that Put the, him right there. Is that the play? Yep. Just, okay, I'll just. What, are, what is the move of these uh, little support vehicles? Uh, let's just say it's 16 hover. Okay. Just, uh, does hover grant any special? Not, not it's just right cool. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It depends on what type of. <laughs> not, not. Yes, it is. But I'm it, not. It is. It is absolutely <laughs> possible to do that and to leap into the air and fall down on opponents. Okay. Um, but there's certain there's certain downsides to it. Thank you for giving Eric the suggestion. Yeah. By the way. Fire <laughs> yeah. away. All right. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Uh, I moved that package. Yep, exactly. So. Uh, <laughs> There's so not a lot she should just try to get her back there. against the wall, I think, so that she can't get chewed on. Why don't you move zigzag then? Me? Yeah. Okay. So this is on you. Oh, is this just, you're like, that sounds cowardly. <laughs> this is something you're an expert in. Uh, does it have jump jets? Uh, uh, the Nova Prime does have jump jets, yes. Okay. really nasty long-range missiles, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about... Mm -hmm. If we get a little three-dimensional here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I considered going up here. I just didn't want to get pin-cushioned by this uh, yeah. LRM. That's what I was scared of. Ultimately, it is long-range, though. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think we want to destroy vehicles, and I think we haven't really focused on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, think we might have, I think we might have come at this backwards. <laughs> anyway, no, no, she's, she's okay. uh, over there, so essentially Zizi leaves your, like, absolutely leaves your field of mm -hmm. vision. God, you, you, these, these insects just 
flitting around the field. Yuck. Okay. All right. Now is it time to? Yep. Is it time to shoot? Go for it. Okay. Well, this is. I mean, I would say this is bad, <laughs> in the in the classic sense. Yeah. Um, do we want to uh, fire with Samira or the crab? Yeah, I mean that's going to be the optimal situation. So we'll uh, take a shot here at the thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's a jump there, so that'll make it a little bit tricky. Three plus two. Uh, I think you've got a clear shot. You think there's no cover there? No, there's no cover. There, okay. It's just leaned up against the building. Got it. Um, um, so range. three, two, we're at a five. Uh, what's the jump? Uh, the jump just adds one. Oh, so adds it's, one. That's, it, it has a TMM of one, it's two. Okay. So three plus two. Five plus medium range is seven. So we're looking at seven. Let's see if Roshan can clean this. Uh, I think that he can. <coughs> Ooh. Yes, sir. yes. Do it. So that's a six. I can spend my chip yes. to get the final shot, or uh, to get the, the shot. Uh, we but... want to remove that asset, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Why not? I don't know. I'm just okay. hoping you don't do it. But Rashan would be sacrificing his ability to eject. What would Ball do? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, let's, let's use that mech warrior expertise. Ball would take the shot. So Roshan is going to uh, scrap that mech. How does that mech burst into flames? So in the previous round, uh, Roshan got a clean shot into uh, the mobility portion uh, with that crit. So it's sort of... Uh, Let's say it did it uh, mid-jump, and the landing didn't go so well. Okay. <laughs> just gets clipped mid-air. Just clipped mid-air. And now it's twisting it's and yeah. spinning twisting. wrong ways. Yep. And crashes. Yeah, and uh, the torso is severed from the, <laughs> the legs. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Now, okay, so that's managed. This is the worst. Um, I, don't, I, I don't, I'm not, you tell me. I think I'm correct. I don't think that I can do anything. Except at all. Damage, I can do anything apparently. except for bury myself. You can shoot the, the silo. Oh. If, listen, if I can get a shot on the silo, then I'm going to go ahead and do that. That is four points. Okay. Um, now, and I think that the gargoyle can also. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, drop another four on the silo. So once that's cleaned. Okay. All right. Cram the, the, and the crab also. Well, the crab has not acted yet. No. No, it has not. Is there something? Now, I, I, the crab is not a long-range platform. Oh, okay, so he can't. Well, it depends on if I'm within 24. Nope, just out. Okay. Um, and that's iced. So mm -hmm. she is going to deliver her two points okay. uh, of medium range damage on the silo as well. You're at 37. Uh, we like that a lot. All right, now uh, kill, my, kill the main Mom. character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, put big holes in him and let's see how it goes. All right, not I think that that's funny. A, I think it's a three. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's yeah. a three to start. What's the TMM? Three? So good. It's three. So six. Yeah. Ah. Three okay. points of damage. Right in the... Oh, no, no. It's just, it, it, he's basically being like, like thrust up against the building. Like there's nothing I can do but just sort of hold on to the edge of this thing. And the Phoenix Hawk is going to do the same and shoot at six again. Uh, with the, uh, the jump. Oh, it did jump. Yeah. So it is... Worse. Eight. <coughs> Eight. Okay, now that's much better. Oh, oh no, touche. <laughs> all right, so roll the roll the thing. Well, first of all, what's the damage? Uh, you know, uh, two, two plus one for back is three. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my chip, <laughs> and I'm gonna eject out of this mech. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nine. Is no critical hit? No critical hit. So on the table of crits, uh, in the nine, there I, is I, nothing happening. Yes, unfortunately, like, <laughs> I'm completely boxed. <laughs> oh, I have, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I'm yeah. completely boxed. Um, the mongrel my, does not have a lot my of... Mom, no, I, I get, I get by on the TMM3 <laughs> and my smashing good looks. Um, so I, I hit this thing, and I tell, uh, I tell Burnout to come get me. Okay. Um, the entire cockpit decouples and launches into the air. Okay. Um, this is gonna, the Thunderbolt's gonna fire into Samira. 
swan song shot here. So that is a three plus... Uh, two TMM. Two TMM plus is cover. five, plus the jump is two, seven, eight, and uh, ten total. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a heavy lift, actually. Nope, that's God. an easy lift. Oh. Five God, points of damage coming in. Give me a crit. It's a nine. nine. Another nine. Ooh, another okay. nine. Thank you. Yeah, another nine. So, so no. Nothing. Yeah. It's somehow these shots manage to miss the most tender portions. Oh, they're, they're exposed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're out. Everybody can see the inside parts. Actually, the, L, uh, the LRM has no line of sight. Perfect. So the Pegasus is going after, what? I can't get, I, I can't see it. The, the structure is in the way. Okay, oh, so it's, it's teeny. Yeah, it's no, it no so beat. So now you're gonna uh, kill our, one of our coolest characters. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So that's, I mean, but just for kicks, build the roll. What is it? Three <laughs> plus, what was uh, the TMM? TMM is uh, just two. Two and plus the jump, jump. So jump, three yeah. is six. <clears throat> so six. Oh, God. Solid nine for Dude, three this... points of damage. Okay. Give me a crit. Ooh. This changed no, no, fast. No. Oh, no. This changed fast, Kiko. Eight. That is a weapon hit. Okay. That's not what we want. That's the opposite of, of what's good and pure. So weapon hit me gives uh, that Nova Prime and Zigzag a minus one damage uh, to attacks. So that's cool. <laughs> Wait, is, that, is, that the, is that the turn? That's the turn. Have you done your worst? But the Thunderbolt is gone. Yes. We love that. So uh, first live show of Black Remnant is the last live show of Black yeah. Remnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, <laughs> we're, able to, we're able to resolve it all. Now, just as a question. <laughs> Does the reactor explosion from the Thunderbolt do any damage to the silo? I'm just asking you as a, as a person and as a friend. I mean, we yeah. tumbled. Roll me, roll me. If you get a a six on 2d6, yeah. Crashing into the silo. Five. <laughs> I gave you the no, chance, No, you were man. so <laughs> kind. You were so kind. Are you ready for initiative? I gave you the chance. No, you did. You did. Six. All right. <sighs> exactly. Thank you. Back at it. All right, now, what do you got? Rex and effects. Rex and effects. Okay. So there's been some scooching. Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt gone. This flank largely safe. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the right play is back here. These things can basically go wherever they want. They're essentially cyborg. I guess my mech is gone. Isn't oh, it? that's. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're essentially like robotic proctologists. <laughs> like they can they can go anywhere. It's app driven. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They really get up in there. They do. They do. They scrub. <laughs> you resent it after a while. It's um, okay, so so that's moved. They've got these that have to move. Um, but we also need to finish this thing. How off. much? Uh, how many points left on the silo? Not a lot. You have thirty-seven already on it, so you only. 13. Need 13 more points. All right, I think we, we go for broke. broke and get that silo down and hope to survive. Yeah, and then, then quick evac? Yes. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep, I'm going to try to keep my back against the wall here. Just scooch back over here, and I'm going to try to... Stop it. <laughs> and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna try to put uh, four points in there. Okay. All right. Can I can I move any of these? Can I move any of your jagoffs? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You can jump him right on top of that structure. Ow. Just a hiss. Yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> it's super bad. I feel bad. bad. Yeah, I mean, you feel bad, but that's what you got to do. I mean, that's, I mean, you didn't have to move there. Uh, I didn't. I made a bad choice. Now, um, so we got four coming from here. We need to do 13 total, right? Mm -hmm. Four is coming from here. You could do seven. The crab can actually finish it off. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what we should be doing. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, we, have, move. we have a move here. Yep. So let's see how much is left on the crab here. 
Crab is crab is good actually. Crab's Sorry? factory fresh, yeah. Um so yeah, I mean I, I think I think we do a little potty dance. Or yeah. uh we make the crab uh, a target. Oh yeah, that obviously that feels very Hannah, doesn't it? Yes. After her after her son's mech pops, she is gonna run out and try to attract attention. Yeah. Okay. Just out here. Yeah, not too much because these yeah. little guys can move. Yeah, we're just gonna move the whole right over map. Here. Yeah. She's mm. just gonna make herself as delicious as possible. Okay, uh, you can move uh, him right over to the side of the building. Yep. Okay. And so now it's it's just Zizi and Samira. Zizi. No, Samira hasn't moved. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if you move Samira, he's going to have to move the hover hovercraft. That hasn't moved. That's yet. moved. It yeah. has. Okay. Yeah, it has a token. Yeah. Great news. So yeah, if Samira makes the move, I mean, honestly, what what I think will happen is that he'll he'll change targets. <laughs> yeah. But if you get your back up against something like this, but you can't really expose yourself, you're in a real pile of <laughs> shit. <laughs> I wish I could help you, buddy, but. Yeah, it's very inconvenient, even for them to get, to get you back there. Oh, dude, he's, he's taking his life into his hands, showing his back to ZZ, though. He's gonna get pulped fast. Let's see, ZZ and the Nova Prime have a 10-inch move. And we finish what we started here. Oh, get into the back arc of over there, both of them. Clean up this yeah. LRM so piece. Would this get into the, the back arc of uh, uh, this piece over here? Eric might know. Hmm? Would this get into the back arc over here? You'd have to be behind that. Okay, not enough. So what ZZ will do would simply rotate. Oh, it rotate in safety and clean up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Well, here you want to resolve. You want to resolve ZZ's hit. Did we win or lose initiative? Uh, no, I go first. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we will start with uh, the Pegasus down there. That is a three. What's the TMM on the guard? Kenji. Yep. Uh, he's got a two. So five total. Even though he's very beat. Oh, that's easy. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's a hit. Uh, two points because I can't get a back arc fire on that. <laughs> All right. Real joy. The Phoenix Hawk. Well, yeah, that's uh, going to be worse. Three He's plus jumping. two, five, uh, seven. Yeah. Yes. Is now the time? Is now the time no, to spend I, your? I oh, it's five. It's five. Yeah. I got a five. Yeah. Okay, so gone here. Uh, missiles back arc from the yep. Uh, hover. Yep. Uh, yeah, we can get that. It's pretty good, okay. I think. Okay, missiles. Uh, so that's going to be a. What's the TMM? The TMM on the crab is two. So we're looking for a five. So the target uh, plan worked. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe no. Maybe it's too good. All right, so what do you got? An eight, that is a weapon hit. Okay. Plus uh, three points of damage. Mm -hmm. With these dry erase markers? Mom can take that. Yeah. And the gargoyle is going to get hit with the LRM. That is, I'm Oh, the sure. clean shot here. Yeah. Is that long range? I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, just, 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 just. Okay, so that is three plus, what's the TMM? Two? It's a two. TMM's two on that bad boy. Five, no cover. And nine total. Oh, hot Dice geez. Benson. Is this how you came to be known as Hot Dice Benson? Three points of damage. All right. That's still fully exterior. Yeah. Well, uh, so let ZZ enact her revenge here. Well, let's light up the silo. No, okay. ba basically, the order is, the order is issued, <laughs> and every mech 
that is in this half circle mm -hmm. dumps everything, alpha strikes, if you will, directly into the silo and pulverizes it. And you just, we can see through it by the end. You see, yeah, you see every, all the missiles and, and energy weapons unload. The silo bursts as the magnetic forces explode inside of it. I can see those iron slugs, those lozenges, mm -hmm. now without the, the guidance of the, of the barrel, yep. are essentially just being flung to the far corners of the universe. Yep, and, and as that happens, you start to see all the other mechs turn around and oh, they don't. start to... <laughs> they're getting an alarm. They're running. Yeah. Um, so you'll get, you'll get to fire one last shot on every single one of them. Well, okay. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> So they, they're turning around to run, and they, they, they could basically like, turn and face them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think Kenji will, Kenji will definitely put a hole in this. He's probably a little upset. Yeah, he's got to be really, really mad. He's I just don't gonna, think he's ever taken that much damage before. No, 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 no. In uh, his he, life. He prides himself. <laughs> he can smell his mech, and he doesn't like it. Um, so when I, when I pop back around, how far away are they when, that, when I take that shot? They're the same space. Oh, okay, so they just turn around. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Well, how about a three? In the back arc. Of? Uh, for five total damage. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> you, just, you just shred it. <laughs> nice. The reactor See? hit. Kenji gets lights. Yeah, see, Kenji gets lights. Where's my lights? I guess I didn't do anything. You're not even on the board. <laughs> no, I, my mech is over here on the side. All right, now, so what is, so this Phoenix Hawk, as they're going away, I think yeah. you should definitely pop them. Okay. Uh, oh, you hit the... Uh, yeah, I, I hit the, the, the bug, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hit the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, three. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Medium range. <sighs> Medium range. So that's uh, five. And what's the TMM on the Phoenix Hawk? Uh, two. Two. So we're looking at a seven. That is a six. But I already spent my, oh, you spent, my chip. Oh, yeah, you both so spent your chips. He, he sneaks out. I had, to, I had to spend it so that I would stay alive. Um, the crab, however, can take a medium range shot. Yeah. On this jag off here. Uh, she starts at four. And that is a medium range shot, so mm -hmm. it's plus two. The TMM on him is two, you said? Okay. So four plus two is six, plus two is eight. Hey. I'm feeling great. How about nothing? We can't even have that. We're just warning them off. Yeah. Now, but I, I feel confident that ZZ is going to get her piece okay. of this one here. The first shot that ZZ yeah. has taken the entire fight. She's the, she's the boat. <laughs> her whole job is to do stuff like this. Okay, what's uh, uh, ZZ's TM again? Actually, no, she did shoot. It's um, five. It was five. Five plus uh, three is eight plus two. So we're looking at a ten. Ten. Come on, ZZ. Oh, oh, six. Six? No so, dice. Okay. So it's just, and don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah, go. We leave them alive to tell their friends. Yeah. Yes. And they, and they uh, you see it. them all clear <laughs> off away from the burning wreckage of, of the Maglev uh, spaceport. And your mother comes, her mech comes charging over to where your... The cockpit's uh, landed. Yeah, the cockpit has landed. And she picks you up. She says, it's going to be okay, son. <laughs> We'll talk about it all soon. <laughs> just, just make it through. <laughs> Mom, I'm fine. I'm a big no, boy. No, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> no, I'm just very make strong. It through. No, you're gonna be fine. I'm, I'm really. Just, I can lift a car tire over my head. Like I'm incredibly strong. You can see your skills have progressed. Yeah. Uh, since the last time you've yeah, seen her. Exactly. Um, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Oh yeah. See you next Tuesday. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, that is what it looks like when you combine the MechWarrior Destiny system and the Alpha Strike system, both of which are available for you on the show floor to try. Uh, you will probably see us near or at that booth later today. <laughs> but thank you so much for being a part of Black Red. We really appreciate it. See ya.